I love this one. Former National Vice Chairman Northwest of the Ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Saliu Mohamed Lukman, has asked President Bola Tinubu to ignore the masses protest over high cost of living at his peri. Thank you very much for joining us. It is Serious Matters here at Tony TV. Don't forget to share our videos with others. Drop your comment. Make them simple and civil. In a statement on Wednesday in Abuja, Lukman, the former director general of the All Progressive of the Progressive Governors Forum, warned that if the issues were not addressed, mass protests will engulf the entire country in no distant time. And that is just the truth. That's just the truth. And you know, that was the way we looked at answers. We said, answers, uh, no, 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 it was just some useless boys that were not just on mute that did not have work and this and that. It was this, it was that. Until it became something else. Look at how many lives. Look at the properties that were lost during MSAS. Look at the properties that were lost. He said, as it is now, the renewed hope agenda of our party has been floated. Like the Naira exchange rate. Renewed hope is being exchanged for renewed anger. The, the value is becoming more and more provocative to citizens. Naira now is at exchanging at about almost 1,500. In fact, it went beyond that some days ago. It went beyond that. He said, if the truth must be told, there is anger and hunger in the land. Both anger and hunger. As a committed member of APC, it is very depressing that this is happening under the leadership of our party. Even more depressing was the statement issued by Mr. Felix Mocha, our National Publicity Secretary, alleged that the opposition parties are behind the protest. Can you imagine politicizing the hardship of people? Can you imagine? Ah, if there's nothing to say, why don't you just keep quiet? For Mr. Mocha to issue such a, a very dishonest statement points to only one thing, that the, uh, the leadership of our party has completely lost it. And at this rate, their political utility value is zero. This clergy suggested or suggests that even the old pretense about being progressive has been thrown to the dog. How can we be talking of opposition, of opposition sponsoring protests in the stronghold of the APC? How can? How can? Both Mina and Kano are strongholds of the APC. In, this, in the case of Mena, Niger State, APC is the ruling party. Kano is the home state of Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, the national chairman of the APC. How do you now claim that the oppositions are the one that are sponsoring the protest? What protest? The people are hungry. To suggest that any opposition could mobilize citizens to protest, our government is already defeatist. The hard reality is that this protest are logical responses to the reality facing Nigerians. If these realities continue unattended to, these protests will spread like wildfire, like bushfire across every part of Nigeria within a very short time. It's not going to take time because the hardship is reaching the, the integrity of the nation. No one should be deceived. These are justifiable protests. This one, this protest will very justifiable. You can't kill everybody. And that's the truth. You can't kill everybody. That's the truth. We need to get things right. We need to get it right. And the earlier, the better. The earlier, the better. Nigeria is not a country that can be ruled by ambition. People could, you can have ambition. You can wish for something. Not all wishes. He said if wishes were horses, then even everybody, everybody will be riding. Everybody. Not all wishes, not all ambitions are correct. You need to get it. It's true. Not all ambitions are right. Is it everything that you decide that you want to be that you are that you are? Is it everybody that has ambition that becomes? People even try everything within their power to see to it that they become what they are, what they're ambitious of. They do everything and still do not become. Ambitious to become, to become. Can you can you be ambitious to become a pilot? So one day you now find yourself, you now find yourself in the cockpit. You just dump you in the cockpit, in the cockpit, and they say, Oh, yeah, move this massive thing. And you now look around with the thousands of buttons around you. Which one do you press first? Well, of course, if you by chance 
see the starting button and you see the taxi uh, you know that's of course it's there's no there's no other way to say that you are already going to fly everybody in the plane into the ditch the test it has uh, it tests this protest this justifiable protest i'm rounding up on uh, in this um, man's um, comment this justifiable t protest tests the responsiveness of our party our leaders, and above all, our democracy. APC and the President Ashwadi Bola Tinubu may wish to ignore them at their own uh, peril. Well, this is still serious matters here at Tony TV. We will continue to uh, drop our, uh, you know, drop our, you know, whatever is happening. Let's drop them here. Please feel free to drop your comment, make them simple and civil. We will do an update on matters uh, like this and see how our government is responding and will respond. To this matters. Thank you very much for watching. This is Serious Matters here at Tony TV. We appreciate you. Don't forget to share our videos with others. And also, please drop your comments. Also, your opinions. We are very open to them. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.